welcome to the C2C community. This is a real estate mentorship community and your family's finances is at the foundation. Today, I'll be talking about a very interesting topic. Improved and unimproved property values. Last year, on my way to Dallas, one of my friends had called me and told me the county sent him a tax bill for $16,000. And he was very confused. He didn't have any money. He didn't understand. He don't know why they're sending him this at this time. And the first question I asked him, when did you buy your house? He said, 2017. And I said, did you have an agent when you bought your house? He said, no. He said, when he went to the builder, the builder gave him two options. They showed him the option with an agent, and they showed him the option without an agent. And he decided to go with the cheaper option. So this is what happened. My friend bought this house for 350000 That was in 2017 in Richmond, Texas. It was from a builder, brand new. And he bought this house July of 2017. So I asked him, how much was your mortgage when you bought this house? He said, oh, it was a very good deal when we bought the house. When we bought the house, we were paying just 1600 a month for a 350000 house. That's a very good deal. Everybody would want to jump into it. So when he was buying the house at this time, he was him and the wife, they were so happy that they were getting a wonderful deal. Little did they know that the, this price, 1600 they were paying. They were paying for the unimproved value. They bought this house in July of 2017. In January, when the Fort Bend County had come to the builder to value this house for tax purposes, they valued the house at 50000 which is just what? Just the value of the land. The land meaning the lot without the building. So it's unimproved. When they bought this house, the builder always loved when you come to buy a house without an agent because... There are a lot of things that they will show under the table. And guess what? You do not understand. You probably have no idea about improved and unimproved values. You probably don't have any idea about inspections. You probably don't have any idea about appraisals. You probably don't have any idea about comparative market analysis to determine if the house is overpriced or underpriced. You probably have no idea about your debt to income ratio. You probably have no idea about buy down points. The builders love that. And my first advice to you, never you buy a house without a real estate agent. The builder pays a real estate agent to work for you, the buyer. When they bought this property, 2017, 350,000 unimproved the mortgage at 1600 July 2017 the builder has no obligation to teach you what your options are some of them can be very good and explain to you the entire process, but it is not their duty. It is not their responsibility. It is up to you, the buyer, to do your due diligence. When you buy a property, one and a half years after, the county will come back now and do another assessment on that property. In March, 
of 2019, the Fort Bend County came back and assessed that property. This time when they assess the property, they are assessing the improved value. The improved value now is what? Is the land plus the building. The improved value at 350,000 times the tax rate of 3.1% will give you about 10,800. This is the tax that they're supposed to pay on an annual basis. But remember, when they bought the house, they were paying tax at what? They were paying tax at 50000 which is the unimproved value. Is the improved, and let's come here on the unimproved. It was uh, 50000 times 3.1%. Uh, 1 which is equals to about fifteen of uh, fifteen fifty. This is the amount of tax that they paid on the unimproved. And if you divide this by twelve months, then you're looking at about a hundred and thirty dollars a month. So the sixteen hundred that they were paying for the mortgage when they bought the house, it was for their principal. Their interests, their tax, and insurance. In other words, we call it PITI. It was based on $130 a month, not on the 10800 value. In March now, when the county did an appraisal, for the improved value, they now had what? They had a shortage in their taxes. And what, what would be that shortage? 10,800 minus 1550. 9,300 deficit in their taxes. I would advise always try to escrow your taxes. No matter if the house is a new house, never lived in, or if it's in an old house. Always assume improved value from day one. Because when you start working on the unimproved value, this is when you get calls like my friend. When they send him a letter and tell him he was, had a tax shortage of about 16,000. Broke had no money, and this is how people end up losing their houses just because they did not do their due diligence, they did not get the right advice when they were buying the house. Always assume improved value from day one so you don't fall into problems like this. My friend told me, but Frank, nobody told me they do not have an obligation to tell you. That's why you have real estate agents. That's why you have real estate attorneys. The builder is there to sell, not to educate you. Some of them may be nice, they may educate you, but it's not their responsibility. It's your responsibility as a buyer to do your due diligence. Had it been he had set up an escrow account when he bought the house, they would have valued the, the property as improved from day one. Then the builder would advise him, although the tax now is based on just the land. In the future, you will get a tax bill and you will have to pay that tax bill. So it is better for you to set up your escrow now based on your improved value. An escrow account is a piggy bank that the lender or your mortgage processor will set up for you so they collect taxes 
and insurance upfront. So whenever the tax and insurance are due, or your mortgage company will pay the tax uh, authority on your behalf, pay the property insurance on your behalf. But when you have an escrow shortage, like in this case, that's when the county now sends you a letter and tell you you are short of 16,000. If you subtract 1550 from the shortage, 10,800 will come out at 9,300. If you divide 9,300 by 12, then we get to 775. 775 is the shortage per month for the taxes. So not only is he owing, his new mortgage will go from what? The new mortgage will jump from 1600 plus 775, which is about 2375. So this is what the mortgage was supposed to be from the origin. But the bidder wanted to make it so sweet for him and so easy for him, and he was so happy he got a good deal. He now had to pay from July 2017 to 2018, the entire year, and then to March of 2019. That's how they came up with that bill and sent it to him. But if I'm to advise you, please, whenever you're buying a house from day one, assume it doesn't matter if it's a brand new house or not. Always assume that you are paying improved value and set up your escrow to take out your taxes correctly so in the future you don't fall into problems like this. Sometimes our people always try to look for a shortcut. You would think you are saving money. You are not saving money. Even the money the builder told you, they gave you two prices. They gave you a price with an agent and they gave you a price without an agent. The builders have to make money. So please, always use an agent when you're buying a house. You, the buyer, you are not paying an agent. The seller pays the agent to work for you. So why won't you use one? So you can avoid problems like this. My friend, he was really, he was really stressed out. And at that time too, they had started laying off massively at, in his job. It was just so much stress for him and the wife and the family. It was too much for them to bear. So I thought I should talk about this today. Maybe it will help you. Maybe we'll help somebody you know. You can share this video with somebody you know. Please, please, two things. Number one, always use an real estate agent. Number two, always assume, no matter if your property is brand new or not, always assume improved value from day one. Set up your escrows correctly so you don't end up in a situation like this. Not only do they have a stock shortage, but their new mortgage now, this is, this is a new reality. They have to battle to pay the 16000 for taxes, and this is the new reality that... They had not planned for because nobody told them. Had they known from day one, maybe they would have structured their finances correctly. Thank you so much. If you have already subscribed to our channel, we appreciate you. This is a real estate mentorship community. Your family's finances is at the foundation. Please don't forget, make sure you put uh, on the comments whatever other topic you want us to talk about. Every Friday, we drop in a new video on home tips and please be on the lookout. Thank you.